Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Let's look at this limit problems. And again, we have uh, limits at infinity, just like the videos that you have seen. I put the two problems side by side just for you to uh, compare how uh, certain details can change the final result. And we have another pair of problems that will actually behave the same way. And I just wanna show uh, these two examples because uh, we actually are looking at a different situation. We do not really have a fraction anymore and see how that can um, affect the final answer, right? How they are compared to each other. So let's get started. So because this are two limited infinity problems, and what we are going to do is that we are going to factor the highest powers, right? And so for this expression right here, what we want to do first is that we are going to just take out the uh, the x squared because that's the highest power inside the square root. And then you may say, what about the 2x? We are not going to worry about that at this point. Okay, so just wait until later to worry about it. Okay, so first we are going to just factor out the x squared. Let's do it. So we have... Um, we have, um, so we have the x squared, that's what we factor out. And then we are going to be getting one minus phi over x and then plus a over x squared. Okay. And then we are getting, that's our, um, that's the radical, right? And then plus the two x. Okay, and I actually want to do the other problem at the same time because it's really just the same situation that we are doing, right? So let's just do that at the same time. And then, so just quickly, we have x squared, and then we have 1 minus phi over x plus a over x squared. And then, drawing the radical. You can see that that uh, the, there was a two x here. Well, you see that they, it's actually the same thing that we're doing for both problems, except that for the limit x is approaching infinity here, and then the other one x is approaching negative infinity. Okay, so far so good. Now, uh, again, we need to just recall right something here regarding the square root of regarding the square root of um, x squared, and that's actually equal to the absolute value of x. Okay, absolute value. Um, what does that mean? That means it's going to be equal to, okay, so it's going to be equal to x if x is non-negative. And it's equal to negative x if x is negative. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind when we are taking this x square and the square root, when we're simplifying this x square and the square root, same thing happens here. Okay, so when that happens, right, we are going to just need to think about whether x is positive or negative. And so as you know, that x is approaching infinity. So that's really just saying that x is positive. And so in this case, we are going to be getting just x, right, just x. Okay, so we are just, we are getting just x. When we simplify this radical x squared. So we are going to be getting just x right here. So just use this color, yes. And then now the rest of the stuff inside the radical stays the same. So we get one minus phi over x plus a over x squared. And then we have what? We have uh, the 2x, right, plus the 2x. And then what about the one on this side? The one on this side, what happens is that we know that when x is approaching negative infinity, then x would be negative. And so when we simplify this square root of x squared, we are actually going to get negative x. Okay, so we are going to be getting negative x here. And then we have the square root of one minus phi over x plus a over x squared. And 
and then plus 2x you see the difference it's really just that part that's different from both problems okay the other stuff are the same then you may say what do we do next um okay so you can see that this turn okay so this is considered as one single turn this turn has an x the other turn also has an x so we are going to factor the x from both turns so what happens is that if we factor out the x from both turns then we are going to be getting x now it's outside the parentheses then we are just getting that radical so 1 minus 5 over x plus 8 over x squared and then what about what about this 2x right here we factor out the x so we are going to be just writing plus 2. now this side here same situation we are going to be factoring out just the x okay but then don't forget that this radical in front of it has an extra negative sign right compared to the, the other problem so don't forget that there is still a minus sign right here and then we have the 1 minus the 5 over x plus the 8 over x squared and then plus the 2 right the x is also being factored out from the 2 x okay so just the 2 okay so you know that when x is approaching infinity this fraction is approaching 0 that fraction is approaching 0 so we are left with just the 1 we're just left with the 2 right it's just 1 plus 2 okay so and then yeah so we are getting 1 and plus 2 so you are going to be getting what are we getting here? We are going to be getting 3x right here. And when x is approaching infinity, then the answer will just be what? Just infinity. Okay, so the limit does not exist, but um, the function is approaching infinity as x is approaching infinity. Now, what about this side here? This side, we are actually getting, um, let's see. So we have the x here, x is on the outside, and then um, that's what? This is zero that's approaching zero so you are just getting radical one negative one plus two so that's just one so we are getting just x here see that that's not the same function anymore as we simplify because it's two minus one instead of two plus one but then because x is approaching negative infinity so the answer would be well you know it's negative infinity because x approaching negative infinity that means x is approaching negative infinity Okay, so, um, but it's not really just this part that's causing the difference in the answer. There are other, um, it's really just also when x is approaching negative infinity, that's also causing the change of the answer. But you can see that if this is minus 2 here, this is minus 2. But well, actually, in that case, if that's minus 2, then we are going to be getting uh, negative x. And then we are going to get a negative infinity as the answer. And when that happens also on this problem, then it will be negative 3x. And if we're getting negative 3x, then this answer will be positive infinity because x is approaching negative infinity. Okay, so there, um, there is a lot of like small details that it's good to pay attention to. And <clears throat> yeah, so that's one thing that usually we will forget, right? It's important to remember that when you take the square root of x squared and when you simplify, then the power that you are getting is an odd power, we would have to put an absolute value around the x so that we can split up into two cases. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support and make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this video.